Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Michael the Mad Bagger. Today we are going to be going in depth look at the Loungefly July 2022 catalog. Now, if you haven't seen images from this catalog yet, prepare to be amazed because this is a pretty cool catalog. We got some really cool new franchises and we also have a brand new villain scene series bag which I'm super excited about and I cannot wait to show you. So if you want to see the July 2022 catalog, hang out with me for the next few minutes and let's go ahead and go check it out. Hey, what's up guys? Okay, let's go ahead and let's dive in to the July 2022 Loungefly Core Line catalog. Now, if you are just joining us, I am going to be heading over to madbagger.com where we can see all the amazing new product. And if we wanted to, if you want to follow along on the actual website, you can, and you will be able to add stuff to your wait list. So you'll get notifications once the Loungefly product comes in stock to us. Okay, so first we're going to go to madbagger.com and we're going to head over here to the coming soon tab. We'll go ahead and pull that up. Show in order all of our coming soon product. Now, this product is all going to show up um, when it becomes available from Loungefly. So there is actually no particular order on the actual screen, but some of the newest stuff is going to show up at the top, the newest stuff that we've added. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and start taking a look at some of the amazing new July product. Okay, this one here, my absolute favorite for the new catalog is going to be the Evil Queen Villain Scene Series. Now, this is the second take on this bag, the very, very first time they did the Evil Queen for the Villain Scene series, they did it as a loungefly.com exclusive. The uh, result of that was a lot of people really wanted it and they sold out of it really quick. So Loungefly promised us that they would make another bag, uh, an updated version of the Evil Queen. So that's kind of what this one is gonna be. Absolutely love this design, the Evil Queen holding the poison apple. Now, the poison apple is a lenticular screen, so when you do turn the bag, you are going to have this amazing snow white scene that shows up in the poison apple, and I absolutely love the way that this is looking. It looks like they used the original artwork from the Disney original movie, so that looks absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to see how this looks in person. Now, this is not the very first lenticular design they've given us. Uh, and any on any of the bags, they've done some Star Wars ones. They just done a, uh, a Dr. Facilier one, and they're all a really really cool. Um, they're awesome to add to your collection. I love the little feature that they're adding on there. Here's another view of it. So as you turn it around, you're going to have the poison apple. The backside of this bag is going to have the mirror mirror on the wall. Love it when they do that little design there. Now, you're not going to be able to tell in the actual images of this, but it's, the leather on this is very similar to the leather that they did on the Maleficent bag. So there is going to be glitter sparkle embedded into the leather. Now, one thing I do have to say about that is the way that they've done this, the glitter does not come off the bag. It's pretty much like embedded into the actual fabric. So it's really, really nice. I know some of us, we don't have glitter going all over the place, but this stuff... This, this material is really, really well, and you don't have to really worry about that. Here's another close-up of the mirror. Nice crisp design there. Now, with the Villain Scene series, Loungefly has pretty much been styling these bags out completely, uh, meaning they're doing the lining, they're doing the back, they are doing all the little details on these bags. That's why these ones tend to run on the $80 to $90 range. I think this one is going to be $85. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. If not, we'll see it when we go back to the next page. But as you can see on this one, on the uh, nylon straps that connect to the uh, actual padded straps, you're going to have the poison apple, which is really neat. Here's going to be a nice close-up of the lining, the evil queen there. Now, they've been doing pretty much for the villain scene series, they've been doing very similar linings for most of the bags. I call it a bandana print. It has a lot of little details. Uh, most of the time, it's going to be two colors, some sort of contrasting color that goes with the bag. And then it has, of course, the villain as the main feature on the lining. And just another angle there for you. So that is the Evil Queen Villain Scene Series, probably my favorite so far from this catalog um, for the Disney stuff. So let's go ahead and head back here. Now, they did do a matching wallet. 
This wallet looks like it's gonna have the same glitter, le uh, glitter leather as the mini backpack. You are gonna have an applique there of the Evil Queen with the poison apple. Of course, the little window there looking into Snow White. She is the protagonist for the evil villain. Very, very cool. This looks like it's gonna be a three quarter size zip around. Backside, love this. It's got the little poison apple, the spell there from her spell book. And then, uh, and you can see the witch's hand there. Then of course you got Snow White, the enamel badges on the backside of this one. Same lining. Now this size wallet, usually about five to six cards. So you have plenty of card slots over here. And then of course you have uh, your picture ID slot. Another view of that wallet. Absolutely amazing. Very, very happy with this, the way that this evil queen uh, has come out for the villain scene series. Okay, so this is another really, really cool bag. This is gonna be for all my friends, fans out there. This is going to be the Friends uh, Purple Door, I should say. The Purple Door mini backpack. Now this one um, is not the very first Friends bag they've done. They've done other Friends bags before. I think this is the number two, the second bag they've done. The first one, I'm not quite too sure. I can't remember the, the design on it. Um, but I know um, that this is going to be the very, very second one they've done. Now, this is pretty cool. This is going to have a really cool feature on the front of it. Of course, you've got that iconic purple door from the Friends TV sitcom series. Now, this has hinges on the front. The door is going to open up, revealing all of our favorite characters from the Friends TV show. The back side of this one here, it does. This is all from the core catalog, so they're all going to have padded straps pretty much on this catalog. Um, you're gonna have the fountain scene on the back there with the Friends characters, kind of a little cutesy chibi style. Another little kind of side angle there. So they did, it is badged with a Friends lounge fly badge. Looks like gold hardware on this one. Another close up here of the fountain scene for you. Okay, the lining, you're gonna have all the Friends characters, Phoebe, Chandler, you got the guitar. Of course, you got the iconic couch, which is uh, actually the, the matching wallet for this is going to be the, uh, the orange couch. So we'll show that here in a few minutes. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Another awesome Friends bag. I have friends, uh, I'm not super familiar with Friends. I didn't watch a lot of Friends, but I know, of course, if you've watched any TV, you know what Friends is. Okay, this is really cool. This is going to be the Friends crossbody bag. This one here is going to be kind of a whimsical design. It is not a standard uh, shape from Loungefly. This one is actually in the shape of the Central Perk coffee cup. Uh, it's pretty cool. I, I love it when they do these designs. It kind of reminds me more of the Stitch Shop stuff that they do. I would imagine this takes a lot more work to get this uh, sewn together and put together right. Let's go ahead and blow it up here so you can see it. Central Perk, got the nice handle. Looks like you got an applique with the Central Perk logo, the coffee shop. Now the top of this bag is pretty neat. They did a lenticular top on this. So the first uh, angle you're gonna see is the Friends logo. When you actually turn it, you're gonna see the fountain, the iconic fountain from the Friends uh, intro. So that does have a lenticular top and it looks really cool. I mean, looking at it on the photos, I can't even tell that it's a lenticular design. So I'm gonna be really curious to see how this uh, comes out and how it looks in person. Same lining as the mini backpack with all the iconic objects. You got the lobster, the, the rubber ducky, Central Perk coffee cup, the fountain. And a couple more angles here of this one for you. There's the coffee cup again. Now this one, if you're walking around carrying this around town, people are definitely gonna take notice just because of the fun shape of it. You're probably gonna get a lot of people asking you where did you where did you get it? And you can tell them you got it from madbagger.com. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next piece. The next piece is going to be the Friends wallet. To me, this looks like it's pretty close to a full checkbook size zip around wallet. You are going to have the iconic orange couch from the Friends TV sitcom on the front. Looking at this, it looks like there is a lot of detail on the couch here with embroidery. Let's check out the back. 
little chibi version of all of our uh, favorite Friends characters. And it looks like they're holding some of the iconic objects uh, from the TV sitcom. You can see Phoebe's got a guitar here. Uh, let's see here. Rubber Ducky. She's in the chef outfit. Interior lining is pretty much going to be the same as the mini backpack. Okay, so the way that how many pockets are in here, this makes me think it might be more of a three-quarter size wallet. Because I want to say the full-size wallet has a few more pockets than this. Um, but you do have the nice ID window, the really nice orange color, and of course the custom lining. Here's another angle there for you. So the couch is actually an applique that comes off. So it does have a little bit of 3D elements to it. Let's go ahead and hit the back button here. <laughs> okay, this one is really cool. And there are some details on this bag that you're not going to be able to see in the photos. But I will tell you about them. Okay, so this is going to be Darla from Finding Nemo. She is kind of our villain character in Finding Nemo because she is the fish killer she 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 loves she has good intentions she loves fish but uh they all happen to end up <laughs> dying around her right okay so this is going to be darla from finding nemo this is really cool it's a kind of a cosplay version you have uh the upper part of her face and then of course you have the aquarium with some of the iconic fish from the finding nemo movie now if you look on the little side here there is a zipper pull on this one which is going to be Nemo in the little plastic fish baggie. You know, the kind of bag that we transport the fish in. Uh, let's see another angle. So backside of this one, I think it says Rock and Roll Girl on the back. We'll get a little close up here. Here we go. Yeah, Rock and Roll Girl. So that is actually on the t-shirt that she's wearing in the movie. That's kind of where that kind of comes into play. Here's a nice little close up of the oh, it's Nemo upside down pretending to be dead. So you got Nemo there. So this one's going to be a vegan leather zipper pull, not an enamel. I would imagine uh, it's probably because of the size of this. They had to do a decent size zipper pull on this to probably get the really good crisp image there of Nemo. The lining on this is super cute. You are going to have orange, nice contrasting orange color. And uh, you are going to have the fish from the aquarium, including the starfish. Um, so a really cool thing about this bag that you cannot see is there is a front pocket on this bag. Let's go here. There is a front pocket. Now, in the Villain Scene series, they pretty much continued the face. Now, this isn't from the Villain Scene series, but I guess you could say it kind of almost is. But it does kind of continue. Uh, in Her face does continue down into the pocket. And a really cool part about that is, is it does have her braces. So if you do, uh, it's a detail that might maybe not everyone's going to see, but you're going to know it's there. And if you run into anyone who loves Nemo, you could show them that little detail. It's kind of fun. Um, they did it again with the Villain Scene series. I noticed it on uh, Maleficent Ursula first, which of course was the first bags they did. But um, they're doing it on this bag as well, which is really, really cute because you can't have Darla without her, bra without her braces. Okay, here is the Finding Nemo wallet. Three-quarter size zip around. Aquarium scene. Just kind of looking at this kind of up close. I can kind of see that it's probably going to have some embossed details on here. You're going to have, of course, the volcano from the aquarium. Here's another view of it. Oh, that's cool with the little pirate skull on the back and the little uh, diver's helmet. Okay, so it does have the Pixar Loungefly enamel badge on the back side. And here's the inside. Again, I believe this is going to be a three-quarter size just by looking at see how many pockets there are. There is a cutout. Trying to tell what that is. If you can tell what that is, let me know in the video. Uh, a lot of times in the ID slot, they do that little detail where they cut out a shape from the movie or a shape that kind of cor correlates with the bag as the ID slot. So they did that one on this. That is going to be the Finding Nemo. We're not going to go over the small accessories, but if you want to see the small accessories, they are all available for waitlist. All this product is available for waitlist on madbagger.com. Go to the Coming Soon tab on the top right-hand corner, click on that, and you can get put on the wait list. Now, if you're on the wait list, when you get the items in your bag, they're going to be protected. You don't have to worry about people taking them out of your cart. Okay, next one for the July catalog is going to be the Alice in Wonderland Painting the Roses Red. This is super, super cool. Um, if you are an Alice fan, this is a nice one to add to your collection. 
This one, to me, looking at the graphics on the front is going to be kind of more, would you say this is more art style? It kind of looks maybe a little more art style to me. But I don't know, because I looked at the card guide, he kind of looks more original. So maybe this is more of a, the original kind of artwork from the Alice in Wonderland movie. This pocket, or this bush here with the roses, the rose bush does hide a pocket. So there is a pocket up here. There is a zipper pull behind this. We'll see if we get another angle here on it for you. Yeah, you can see it. It kind of goes behind the bush there. So this one does have a front pocket on it. The enamel badge on that one is on the front. Back side of this one, in red. And of course, you're going to have the uh, cards, the heart cards from the Queen's Army. Here's a nice close-up of that. Here's the cards. Nice up and close. And the interior on this Alice one is going to be the cards again. It's going to be kind of like an all-over print. Um, it looks like you got a couple different of the cards in here. The uh, two of hearts. Looks like the four of hearts. A couple of different heart cards in there. Really, really cool. Love all the Alice stuff. Alice, of course, has such a, a, a great following of fans. It's one of those classic Disney movies that, um, and it's kind of like a cult classic. I, I consider it to be a cult classic with uh, cartoons. Okay, let's go ahead and let's move back and see what else we got. Now, this one is a different, this is going to be the Alice in Wonderland zip around wallet. This one is considered to be on the larger size. As you can see, they added a strap on this. You can see it a little bit on the side there. This is actually gonna be a wallet slash wristlet. It is large enough to just be a wristlet. Now, my curiosity will be once we get it to see if it fits like an iPhone, the plus size iPhone. Um, if it fits that, then that's kind of cool because that gives you, if you wanna go out on a night on the town, you don't want to take a backpack or a uh, crossbody purse with you. You have the option of going a little bit lighter and you have a place to store your phone. So the front of this wallet, it's got the, the heart cards. Backside is pretty much gonna be pink with just the enamel badge. Now the wristlet strap is removable. So if you don't want it on there, you just wanna have it as a wallet, you can do that. Okay, you have alternating pockets here, pink and red. Same lining as the backpack with the heart cards. Another little angle here. Okay, let's go ahead and head back here. So for the Queen of Hearts for the Alice stuff, they did a three-piece set. So it is a crossbody, a wallet, and a uh, backpack. Now, from what I've heard, that Loungefly has done a design like this before, but it was only available overseas, I think, in the Hong Kong Disneyland store. Um, so they brought it here to the U.S. It was so popular overseas, they brought it here. So they did a different version of it. I think they had a different card that they used overseas. So they did kind of an updated version here for the U.S., this is going to be the Ace of Spades crossbody. So it's kind of a fun little whimsical design here on a card. It is a chain crossbody. It does have the Queen of Hearts on the backside, along with the enamel badge. Let's see the angle shot of this. The angle shot of this, it looks like it's going to be a pretty decent size as far as thickness goes. So it does have the chain, but it does go into the crossbody strap, which looks like has adjustable buckles on it, which is nice. They did a very similar similar lining to uh, the mini backpack, except for they did the spade cards, of course, in the black and gray, and white, I should say, black, gray, and white. Let's go ahead and go back here. Let's see what else we got. Here's all the small accessories. Okay, this is a continuation of a brand new series that Loungefly started earlier this year. I think they've already given us Cinderella. They've already given us Snow White. They've given us Aurora. So this is going to be number four in the Princess Scenes series. Let's go ahead and blow this up. It doesn't get much bigger, really, to be honest. Okay, here we go. So we have uh, Ariel. This is going to be the Little Mermaid Princess Scene series. This one is really, really cool. I love this because they used all the original artwork from the movie, but they also pretty much told the story of Little Mermaid on each side of the bag. So you have some of the most iconic scenes on, uh, on this bag. Of course, you have uh, here on the front, you have Ariel coming out of the water, and you do have Ariel and Prince Eric there on the front pocket. Now, there is looks like there is another scene on the top of the pocket here. 
looking at this angle, it looks cut off, but I bet you it continues. Let's see. Yeah, so you'll be able to see it. You're going to have a little mermaid and um, flounder there on the top of the pocket. This one does have an enamel zipper pull, which will be flounder. Let's see as it continues along. Okay, the backside has Ursula. Very, very cool. Nice big graphic of Ursula. If you're an Ursula fan, definitely really cool. The side here, you can see the print goes a little bit up onto the gusset. And then it kind of continues more into the black along the top part of the gusset. Really nice, beautiful teal colors on this. Little Mermaid, Flounder, Sebastian on the side. Let's see, we get the other side here. Uh, Got to have King Triton on there. Super cute. You got Ariel and King Triton. Love that. Now, I don't see Fletzum and Jetsum on here, which would have been would have been nice to have them on there as well. There's a nice good close-up of Ursula there. The lining on this looks like it's going to be a two-tone lining. You're going to have Ariel and Flounder, some she shells, some polka dots. It looks like some little sparkles that they got in the water. Oh, no, not even polka dots. We'll call those bubbles. That sounds a lot better. Let's go with bubbles. Okay, let's see here. Here's a close-up of the flounder enamel. Very, very cool. I love this Princess Scene series. Uh, or Princess, yeah, Princess Scene series. Seeing it in person is so much better than seeing it in the images. We already have the Snow White in, and I was so blown away with the way that it's printed and the coloring on it. It is absolutely gorgeous. If you're not collecting this series, it's definitely a good one. I definitely want to recommend. Um, you know how much I love the Villain Scene series. You know how much I love the Princess Castle series. But if you're into the classic Disney princesses, this is definitely a really cool one to collect. Okay, this is going to be the Little Mermaid wallet for the Princess Scene series. You have Ariel coming in her little, um, what was that, her cave of, her little cave there, her grotto, where she has all her treasures. Flounder there. You got Ursula with her, I like the way they position this plaque like right over the smoke. It like worked out perfectly. <laughs> I tell you guys, Loungefly is really good at details. They, they, I've seen some of the communications that go between uh, the Loungefly design and production, and they are very, very into making sure the colors and the graphics and everything line up properly. So major kudos to them and the design team. Here's the inside. This is a three-quarter size again. Zip around. Another little seam here. Let's go ahead and go back. Now, the Princess Scene series is pretty much a three-piece series. For every single uh, movie that they're doing, it's a crossbody, a backpack, and a wallet. I know a lot of ladies are collecting the crossbody. The crossbody are, are really, really cute because they have these really cool little objects that they use for the closures. Now, this is going to be the Little Mermaid Princess Scenes uh, crossbody bag. Looks like they did a metal she shell. A metal she shell for the closure there. More than likely, this is going to be a magnetic closure underneath the vegan leather there. You have the iconic kiss the girl scene. Love it. I love going on that, right? <laughs> California Adventure. I like going on it because it like literally, I love the music, right? I love the story, but I love that the line is like, it's one of, it's one of those ones where you can just almost like walk on most of the time. Uh, okay, the backside you're going to have Ursula and Little Mermaid Ariel. This is the scene where she's getting ready to give up her voice so that she can go um, have legs and go up onto the shore. Cute little scene with the um, with the little uh, what was the seahorses on the side there. Okay, another angle. Okay, so the other side you get Ursula again. Nice close up shot of her looking into probably um, looking at probably uh, Ariel in her crystal ball there. Lining. Most of the times these uh, these crossbodies, most of the time they have zipper pockets. A lot of times they have zipper pocket and open pocket. I'm trying to remember if the princess scene has scene series has both. Um, but it definitely has a, looks like a vegan leather lined zipper pocket, which is nice. So that's going to be the Princess Scene series. Let's scroll down here. Brand new uh, franchise they brought in here. Now, they might have done Ninja Turtles before. Maybe they've done them on uh, like exclusives for Box Lunch or one of those larger retailers. But this is the first time I think they've done one for the core catalog at least in the three years that I've been here. So this is going to be the Teenage Min Ninja, <laughs> Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mini backpack. And uh, they did a mini backpack and a wallet on this one. It is super cute. I absolutely love the manhole cover on the uh, as the front pocket. Now that is a pocket. 
and you're gonna have the nice big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. And as you can see, we're gonna have our little chibi friends here. You're gonna have, it looks like Master Splinter, you're gonna have Shredder, you're gonna have Bebop and Rocksteady, you're gonna have the Ninja Turtles, April O'Neil, and Casey, the hockey mask guy. I almost forgot his name there for a second. I love the Ninja Turtles, uh, absolutely cool. This is really neat that they brought this to the core line. If you are a Ninja Turtle fan, of course, I have the original arcade game downstairs in my, uh, my game room. And I get on there with the kids and we just tear it up. Um, you know, the original scroller one. Uh, I, <laughs> I love playing that, so much fun. You can see, okay, here's the manhole cover. It is a circle pocket. Looks like it's gonna be a decent size. Oh yeah, you can't have Ninja Turtles without pizza. Pizza slice for the enamel zipper pull. Lining again. Oh, super cute turtles. Donatello, Leonardo, Raphael. You're gonna have Michelangelo. Am I missing any? Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Yes, we got all of them. All right there in that one shot. Let's go ahead and take a look at the wallet on this. Looks like three quarter size tends to be the wallet for this month. Zip around, I can't complain there. We love the zip around wallets. Okay, so, oh, really cute. Okay, so you basically have kind of another play on the same thing as the backpack with the manhole cover. The nice Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo, nice and big. And then you have the little chibi version of our favorite turtles there. On the back side, you're gonna have Bebop and Rocksteady. I think that's their name, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't seen, I, I remember watching the movies, of course, as a kid and playing the game. Um, I'm pretty sure that's their names. Okay, the inside here is gonna be black with the same lining as the backpack. Now, I'm a pretty big Turtle fan. I have um, a Kevin Eastman signed um, Ninja Turtle hockey jersey. I'm not really into hockey, but when I saw that there was a Kevin Eastman uh, like jersey up for sale, I was like, dude, I definitely want that because Kevin Eastman, of course, the creator of the Ninja Turtles. Absolutely love this. This is really cute. So if you're a Ninja Turtle fan, there's definitely something for you here in this month. Uh, that's going to be a new franchise. I don't think they've ever done in the core line. More small accessories. Okay, I'm not super familiar with the Pokemon characters, but I believe this is the Eeveelution Umbreon. So correct me if I'm wrong. I have only know a little bit about this from what I've read. He is a dark Pokemon, and I believe he is, has psychic powers. Now, everyone is super, super excited about this. If you are a Pokemon fan, this one is definitely really cool. They did give us another Pokemon character this year, the Bulbasaur Metallic, and now they're giving us the Eeveelution. So it'll be kind of inter interesting to see what other characters they can come out, uh, come put out. I know they've done Charizard, I think, before. Um, I would love to see one of those in the core line. I think it was a, last time it was an exclusive. But this is gonna be Umbreon. Backside, I love that they did the, uh, the yellow on the straps there. Anytime they could do any type of little fun, more details on these things, it's really cool. Okay, he does have like a little star and it uh, looks like a metallic or a metal uh, zipper pull on this one. Little lining there, it's got the, um, his, him and his stance. There's his number, that's gonna be embroidered on the back. And another nice little angle there. Okay, so that's a pretty cool Pokemon bag. If you are a Pokemon fan, there's something for you this month. This looks like it, uh, the backpack and the wallet are both gonna be cross-hatched textured. Vegan leather, which means it's gonna have a little bit of a texture to it. The wallet is a three-quarter size zip around. Told you guys, they are liking the three-quarter size right now. And you're gonna have the nice kind of uh, silhouette version here of Umbreon. And hopefully I'm saying that correctly. So if I'm saying it wrong, excuse me, Pokemon fans. Again, I'm not super, super familiar, but I do try to read up on some of this uh, when we get them in our catalog. Super cool. One, two, three, four, and then of course the ID slot there gives you five. Nice little side view of it. Let's see. Okay, Bambi, this is a part of a new series of uh, bags that Loungefly started this year as well. 
I want to say this is the also the fourth one in this series. I think they've done uh, Peter Pan. Uh, he, the first one to come out was Alice. And I think they have, um, there's another one too. I'm trying to think which one it was. Let me know in the comments. It's hard to keep up with all these series that they're doing. But this is going to be the Bambi series. Now, this one is cool. Um, they call this the six ways to wear bag because there is many different ways you can wear this bag. It is a convertible crossbody mini backpack. And there are a couple different ways you can wear this. They're in the shape of the classic storybook of the Disney uh, movie. This one, of course, is going to be for Bambi. Okay, so let's see the side here. You can see the spine of the book. Now, these do come with three vegan leather straps, three of them. So there are two for the backpack, one for the crossbody. I believe they give you a third one because the crossbody strap can go a little bit longer to give you a little more length if you need it. Now, these have two big pockets for storage. As you can see, when you open it up, it does have really cool details on the inside. It gives you a little bit of light reading <laughs> and some cool pictures. And then, of course, you have these nice, generous sized pockets on both sides. The way that this closes is there is a magnet embedded into the vegan leather. So when you close it, these two pieces here will touch each other and it will close and it will stay closed for you. Here is the lining on the Bambi. Really cute. Here's what it looks like fully open with the backpack straps on. Okay. And here is the crossbody strap. Very, very cool. I think we're going to continue to see this series. I don't know how many they're going to do. I would imagine they're probably going to continue through most of the Disney classics. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see like Pinocchio and some of those. Here is the wallet. The wallet is a three-quarter size zip around. Same kind of details like on the uh, mini backpack convertible crossbody. It's cute with the little Bambi looking upside down at the possums. Love that. The lining, cute little florals. I can't tell if this one has a, uh, it might have a flower. It looks like a flower cutout. You can barely vag vaguely see it there. Um, but I think I do remember someone saying that there was a cutout there for in the shape of a flower. There's going to be, it looks like some embossed details on this from this angled shot. Again, now if you want to get on the wait list for these, head over to madbagger.com. Go to the coming soon tab and all you have to do is go to the item and click add to wait list. Now, when you add to wait list, it's automatically going to put it on the wait list for you and you're not going to have to uh, worry about coming back at a certain time to get it. We will send you a notification when it's available and it will automatically be placed in a cart and secured for you. So that's what the cool part about it is. You're, we're not just telling you, hey, come back at this time and then it's a free for all. If you are within the quantity that we ordered, you will get one in your cart and it will be protected for a certain amount of time, giving you enough time to check out. Okay, so this is from Sanrio, Monkichi. This one is a super cute plush. Oh my God, I don't know what Monkichi is, to be honest. Um, I know some of the Sanrio characters, of course, Hello Kitty, Karopi, some of the more um, mainline the characters that I've seen through my childhood. But this is Monkichi, and I think Monkichi does not get a lot of merchandise from what I heard from Loungefly. So they're super excited to bring Monkichi into the core catalog. This one is really cool. It is covered in a super soft kind of plushy material. Almost looks kind of velvety. And a really cool thing about this is his zipper pull is scented as bananas. That's bananas. <laughs> Literally. You guys, this, this bag is going to smell like bananas. I'm super excited. They did one a couple, I think it was last year. It might have been the year before. They did Lotso, and he smelled like strawberries. And that thing, when I opened the box, it was like whoosh. It's, I mean, you could smell it. It's really, really nice. Um, and I think the scent stays on there pretty good, too. So here's Monkichi. The backside, you're going to have Monkichi. Hopefully, I'm saying that right as well. Correct me in the comments if I am wrong. Another angle Sanrio plaque with the lounge fly on the side there. It's going to be a classic silhouette with a nice front pocket, side pockets on this one. 
Oh my, super cute. Look at the inside of this. Okay, you're gonna have polka dots, bananas, and a monkichi. It looks like a couple different poses because you got him holding a banana here. So that's cute. Here's the banana charm. It's not just one banana. It's a whole little, uh, where they go? Is it a bushel? Is it a bushel of bananas? Is that what they call it? Let me know. Backside, this is gonna be the backside of the bag there behind the straps. Okay, so Monkichi did get a wallet as well. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Now on this video, we're not gonna go over all the MLB. I'll go over the Dodgers because I know we've had a lot of people asking for Dodgers. So I'll go over that one just because I don't want the video to end up running like 45 minutes to an hour long. We want to keep it short uh, because it takes a long time to upload these videos. Okay, so this is going to be the Monkichi wallet. It looks like it is a half size plush zip around wallet. He does have the little monkey ears coming off the sides. His eyes, I didn't mention this, but his eyes, they look like little um, kind of like round, not buttons, but little, uh, can I call them, should I call them nubs? I don't know. I don't think I should call them nubs. What are they called? I guess we'll call them little button, button eyes. Uh, they're really, really cute. It looks like they're going to be 3D also on the backpack as well. Backside here, embroidered bananas. The uh, enamel badge there in Sanrio. Lining, one, two, three, four, five. Hey, even on the half size, they managed to squeeze enough in there. There is usually a little pocket behind here too for cash. Really, really cute. Here's another little angle of it. You can kind of see the eyes a little bit better on that. Very, very cute. If you are a Sanrio fan, they've definitely been putting some stuff out. So definitely uh, keep your eyes out for the Sanrio stuff. Okay, so we got a few more bags. Some of these bags are just going to be the renderings. They don't have the actual bags in yet. So I'm only going to be able to show you the one image. Um, they are doing a Barbie bag, another Barbie bag. I think this one is for the Totally Hair Barbie. Now, this one is going to be the Totally Hair Barbie print that she has on her dress from the uh, original Totally Hair Barbie from Mattel. I believe it was Mattel. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> we do have the nice big Barbie logo on the front there. Of course, we have a brand new Barbie movie coming with uh, Margaret Robbie and was it Ryan Gosling? Have you guys been seeing the photos for that? It looks pretty, uh, looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cute. I like Mar uh, Margaret Robbie a lot. She plays a really good, uh, really good character. So I can't wait to see what she's going to do with the Barbie character. Uh, this one again is subject to change because they're still getting finalized versions on this. So a lot of times, I don't know if you guys know, but this the licensor has to approve the design, and it goes back, and it goes back and forth a couple of times to make sure it matches up with what the brand wants the image to be. And um, so sometimes things aren't 100% finalized until like sometimes right up till production time. So just kind of keep that in mind. It shouldn't change too much, I wouldn't think, but you know, you never know. Okay, so right here on the zipper pole, you're gonna have a, looks like a hair, what do they call those, a hair pick? Is that what you ladies call those? It's like one of those ones you stick in your hair. So it looks like it's gonna have that there. I would imagine that's probably gonna be very similar to the one that used to get with the Totally Hair Barbie. Let's go ahead and go back there. Again, I don't have the linings for those ones, so we'll have to uh, wait until the more images come out. The Barbie. This one is going to be a flap uh, style Barbie wallet. This one is not going to, it's going to have, it doesn't lay completely flat. So it has, it opens on both sides. Now I think they did a couple different wallets like this before. I even think maybe the last Barbie wallet that they did was the same silhouette where it has like a kind of like a coin pouch on the front side where it opens up kind of accordion style. And then the back side opens up where you have card slots to put your cards in and then like kind of like a standard bifold wallet where you put your cash in. So I think that's what that's going to be on this for the Barbie. Okay, let's scroll back here. Now we did get some Stranger Things. Now if you haven't been watching Stranger Things, if you're not caught up on this, you've got to be watching this show. It is so good. Now I'm trying to figure out, I was, I was talking to my wife the other day, what makes this show so amazing? Is it the sci-fi factor of it or is it more of the nostalgia that we have kind of uh growing up in like the 80s and 90s you know um obviously 1986 i was born in 84 so i pretty much i wasn't like in school this time frame but i do remember some of the stuff that they talk about and some of the music that they have in the show it's going to be the lounge fly stranger things hawkins high mini backpack again we only have the rendering of this as we get the real images in we will let you know 
So obviously the Hawkins High School mascot is the Tigers, 1986. You have some cool vines down here along the bottom, kind of, I guess, representing the upside down. So it's kind of fun. Again, I don't know what the lining and stuff on this looks like. I'll have to go back and look at the catalog because they do show us really small pictures of the linings. Once they have them in stock, and they might actually have it um, already at the uh, Loungefly offices, but they just got to get the photos done. They did a crossbody as well in the Hawkins High, with, again with the vines from the upside down. I cannot wait until July 1st. July 1st, is that... Is that today? Is it Friday? Oh my God, <laughs> it is, it's today. Hey, Stranger Things Part 2 Season 4 comes out today. If you are not watching it, uh, I have a hard time. I don't want to binge watch it. I want to kind of space it out a little bit, but I, I have a hard time. If I get done with my work, I have a hard time not going and sitting and watching the whole thing. Okay, the Hawkins High zip around wallet is going to be half size. Hawkins High colors is going to be the green, white, and the orange. You have the tiger there. I would imagine that's going to be an applique patch. Uh, Loungefly, of course, very, very, very well on the details. So um, if you're interested in that, definitely get that on wait list. Very, very cool. Okay, they give us a Spider-Man set. They didn't give us a new backpack, but they gave us a crossbody with this really cool Spider-Man emblem on it. To me, this is kind of like a, for the newer movies. Let's see, what was the, what was the title on this? Uh, Marvel Spider-Man color block crossbody. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't go off of any movies or anything, but it is definitely a really cool crossbody chain bag with the giant spider metal logo, and uh, of course you have the Spider-Man webs, Spider-Man colors. Lining has got little spider webs with the Spider-Man face. A couple different angles here it looks like it's almost kind of like accordion style so it tapers quite a bit and it looks like i can't tell um i probably not sometimes when they do these accordion styles they have like two ginormous open pockets on the inside but from this view here it more looks like this looks like a divider so this looks like it's going to be split down the middle from just looking at this see the accordion here on the side so it looks like it's going to have a split down the middle so you're gonna have two giant pockets on this one this one is a chain crossbody. I can't tell. The strap is adjustable. There is an adjustable buckle there, so you do can get a little more length on it. The wallet is a half size flap wallet. Uh-oh, it's going, it's going a little slow. I'm using up all my uh, the, uh, space on my computer recording this, so. Okay, check it out. We have the half size flap wallet. Again, with the nice Spider-Man logo, the Spider-Man. Marvel Loungefly. This looks to be, I can't tell, but it could be either printed or embroidered on there. Classic snap closure on this one. Let me pull this up. And another angle. It looks like this is going to be kind of similar to the Barbie wallet, I guess you could say, because it opens probably looks like both directions. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it looks like it would. This is going to be yeah, very similar to the Barbie wallet. I would think that this front pocket here behind the spider is going to be more of like an accordion style opening where you're going to be able to put change and cards and stuff into. Let's go ahead and flip here to the next. Okay, so the last of the regular stuff, and then we have a bunch of MLB stuff, is going to be for my Star Wars fans. This one, the coloring on it is amazing. They did a great job on this. I mean, the, uh, the High Republic is from the Star Wars comic books. Now, if you're not familiar with the Star Wars High Republic, it falls in between the Old Republic and the original Star Wars movies. So the original Star Wars movies, uh, two, 200 years before then was the High Republic, and then 800 years before that was the Knights of the Old Republic. So there is a large timeline in Star Wars. If you are a hardcore Star Wars fan, then you are gonna know Definitely going to recognize some of these characters on the bag. This is going to be from the High Republic comic book. Uh, on the back side here, they showed this on the Loungefly Live, where it has kind of like a timeline. It shows you kind of where things fall in. Reign of the Empire, Age of the Rebellion. We'll look at the little close-up on that. The coloring, though, they did a really nice job with the earth tone colors on this. 
It, it looks very much so like comic book. Good job, uh, Loungefly artists. Made your shout out. Here's the lining. Double hilt lightsabers here. You got the lightsabers for light and life. Very, very cool. Yeah, you got the, the cool logo there, Zipper Pole. And here is that timeline. So you got the High Republic, Fall of the Jedi, Reign of the Empire, Age of the Rebellion, the New Republic, and Rise of the First Order. So it kind of gives you like a little bit of the timeline on the back. I want to say they did that in gold foil, which is really neat. Um, it's little details like that that I actually love on these bags when they do things on the back on straps. Uh, if you are a Star Wars fan, this is definitely a really cool bag to add to your collection. Let's go ahead and take a look at the wallet. A three-quarter size zip around. Okay, so this is awesome. Nice, good comic book art here on the front. Uh, the High Republic Star Wars. I'm not quite too sure. I'm not super familiar with the comic that much. Um, I am more familiar, of, well, obviously, with the movies, the TV show, and some of the video game stuff, because the Star Wars video games uh, are amazing. If you haven't played any of those, definitely, definitely recommend playing some of the Star Wars video games. Um, let's see, the lining is going to be pretty much the same as the backpack, brown. It looks like it might alternate colors slightly from a dark chocolate to a little bit lighter brown. There's another angle here for you. Gold hardware on this one. Let's go ahead and scroll down here. Okay, so here's our here's our baseball. Red Sox. Now, each team basically got three to four items. I think three items and four items for the Dodgers. Red Sox wallet, stadium bag, which is really cool. I guess some of the stadiums won't let you bring certain size bags in. So Loungefly, I think, made these to be a certain size to where it falls within that. Within that um, and I don't know, every stadium could be different. I know out here, I thought they said that it has to be a certain size before you be able to take it in. But you have to check with your stadium before you take it. If not, I'd hate to for you to get all the way to the gate to find out you got to take it back to the car. So check with your stadium before. But these are really nice. They're clear. So it makes it easy to get through security. And if you don't just like the clear part, um, there is a uh, another insert that goes in there, which is kind of like a, where you can put like other stuff that maybe you want to be more private um, that you want people to see. Now, there are um, quite a few teams. We got the, what I say, we had the Dodgers, the Angels, the Yankees, the Giants, the Padres, and the Boston Red Sox. Okay, so added to this year, um, they haven't done the Angels ever before, and they haven't ever done the Padres. I can't remember if they did the San Francisco Giants. Let me know. Let's go ahead and look at the Los Angeles uh, Dodgers, because we have a lot of Dodgers fans. So this is really cool. They did the kind of the baseball patch patches on these bags. That's kind of how they updated it and gave it a little bit different look. They still did the embossing or debossing. I think it's debossing when it's pressed in. The debossing on the front pocket. And you have the nice Los Angeles patch on the front. You have a chenille style patch, which kind of reminds me of those Letterman jacket style on the front, along with some of the iconic objects. So this one, you're going to have the Dodgers logo and the LA logo. The straps, super cool. They did baseball bats on the straps this time. Okay, on the side, you're gonna have a cool pennant. Of course, Dodgers. You know what the Dodgers have? If you're not a Dodger, if you don't know Dodgers, Dodgers also very, very well known for their Dodger dogs. If you haven't been to a Dodgers game, um, it's probably one of the most iconic food items, of course, at the Dodgers Stadium. So they got that on there, which is really cool. And then on this side, the 2020 World Series champions. Boom, there it is, 2020 World Series champions. I love that they got that on there. Uh, zipper pole, LA, nice metal. LA Dodgers, uh, uh, Dodger blue interior. So they did do for the Dodgers, because the Dodgers is the home team for Loungefly. Loungefly, Los Angeles, mostly Los Angeles based. Um, it's where their warehouse and everything is. They do have some, um, I think Funko's based out of Washington, so I don't know if they have Loungefly offices up there as well with the Funko offices, but I think they're mostly based out of here, out of LA. Okay, um, you do have the three-quarter size zip around. They get an accordion wallet. So they actually got, what, five items. They got the crossbody bag for the Dodgers, and they got the clear stadium bag. Every other team got three pieces, the stadium bag, the backpack and the wallet. 
Okay, guys, that is going to be it for the July catalog for the backpacks, crossbodies, and wallets. Now, again, if you want to see any of this stuff, if you want to get on the wait list for this, this is the July catalog. I would imagine it will probably start coming to us late July, maybe sometime in August we'll start seeing the rest of it. Um, we're still, we got some of the June stuff in at the end of June, and I would imagine the rest of the June stuff is going to start coming in at the beginning of this month. So definitely get on the wait list. It doesn't cost you anything to be on the wait list. Um, it's completely free. And then when it comes in stock, it goes straight to your cart. You get a notification. Your cart is protected. There's no super, super rush to check out. And um, we make it super, super easy for you guys, all right? And I hope you guys like this catalog. I am super excited. For me, my favorite bag, it's hard. I am very, very partial to the Villain Scene series. So that one is still going to fall probably in my number one. Uh, for my number two for me was probably the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles just because they've never done that before and it's super cute. Uh, and it's definitely a bag that I probably wouldn't mind adding to my collection. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the catalog and we'll see you next time for the catalog reveal for August. August is next, which is super cool. It should be a lot of the Halloween stuff. So if you are into kind of the darker stuff, you're definitely gonna wanna hang out for the August catalog release. And we'll see you again next month. Uh, see you later.